Journalist Martin Bashir used deceitful methods to secure his controversial interview with Princess Diana in 1995, an official BBC inquiry found on Thursday. The report, which was compiled by former High Court Judge Lord John Dyson, states that Bashir, 58, breached the BBC's editorial guidelines by creating two false bank statements to improperly manipulate Diana into giving the interview, according to a report in the Daily Telegraph. Get push notifications with news, features and more. Plus follow following you'll get the latest updates on this topic in your browser notifications. The six-month inquiry blasts senior BBC executives over allegations of a cover-up, adds the Daily Telegraph. The use of deceit in making factual programs would have been permissible only in the case of investigating serious crime, and where prima facie evidence of the guilt of that person being investigated had already been obtained, Richard Eyre, the BBC's controller of editorial policy in 1995, told the Daily Telegraph Thursday. Martin Bashir interviews Princess Diana Martin Bashir interviews Princess Diana, credit, pool photograph, Corbus, Corbus via Getty Images, those circumstances clearly don't apply to an interview with the Princess of Wales. It would not have been acceptable to use significant deceit in this case. In a statement, BBC Director General Tim Davies says, I would like to thank Lord Dyson. His report into the circumstances around the 1995 interview is both thorough and comprehensive. The BBC accepts Lord Dyson's findings in full. Although the report states that Diana, Princess of Wales, was keen on the idea of an interview with the BBC, it is clear that the process for securing the interview fell far short of what audiences have a right to expect. We are very sorry for this. Lord Dyson has identified clear failings. While today's BBC has significantly better processes and procedures, those that existed at the time should have prevented the interview being secured in this way. The BBC should have made greater effort to get to the bottom of what happened at the time and been more transparent about what it knew. While the BBC cannot turn back the clock after a quarter of a century, we can make a full and unconditional apology. The BBC offers that today. Listen below to our daily podcast People Every Day for more on details on the report about former BBC journalist Martin Bashir's Panorama interview with Princess Diana. Following his investigation, Lord Dyson says he is satisfied that Bashir commissioned fake bank statements and showed them to Spencer. Bashir also flourished statements of Princess Diana's private secretary Patrick Jefferson and Prince Charles's private secretary Richard Aylard, which contained information that had probably been fabricated by Mr. Bashir. He did this to deceive and induce Diana's brother Charles Spencer to gain his trust and arrange a meeting with the princess, he continues.